welcome to the Teen Year Tinkers channel. I'm McBall Joint to Doll in craft related content. I am doing some craft exchange crafting slash also sometimes crafting for myself. I kind of do both at the same time sometimes, um, especially with sewing, primarily with sewing, which is what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I think I want to make some jeans. Um, I have this really cute, they're not even, well, it is fabric, but it's, uh, they're kitchen towels from the dollar store, but they're in these like, it's like linen, but probably not real linen. But they're really cute colors, and I was like, oh, that could totally pass as doll denim. Um, so I thought I would make jeans, and you can make jeans with me, I guess. Um, and then I'll probably just keep one pair and pass the other ones along. I'll do the pink pair. More of a blushy pink. Should I do pink and blue together? Like a split and then cut two pairs at once? I think I will. I think I will. And I'm basically gonna do the same thing, but um, I'm gonna keep the cut wider this time. Um, this is probably way too long. Yeah, okay, so here. I'm gonna come in a bit. And there, like that. But um, don't wanna lose these scrappy pieces because uh, belt loops, waistbands, and pockets. So I'm gonna just cut all that off too. And on these, I'm gonna cut all of these in half. Again, so it's uh, the pieces like we've got for the other pants, but I'm gonna cut them in half. Um, you're very low and I'm very tired looking. Um, and that's so I can do the seams and the pockets and all of that. So I'm gonna cut, cut. Okay. And now I have a whole bunch of pieces. So this will be front and back on one side, and then the front and back on the other side of the split pant, and then I've got two sets of those. These are both on the wrong side, that's fine. Um, wrong side just being the wrong side of the fabric, but as long as they both are, it means they're facing the right way. Okay, so I've got my pieces like this, but um, the front pieces need pockets, so I'm just gonna grab where I put the pockets. So the front bits of the jeans that go like this, I'm gonna take them, put them together, right sides together. And then I'm gonna cut from about here. I'm just gonna go like this and then like this. And that's going to be where the pocket hole goes. All right, and that's gonna make pockets. Okay, and then uh, waistbands. I'm going to probably sew the blue and pink together so that I can put like a pink waistband part on the blue side of the pants and vice versa. I, uh, I do sometimes sew with patterns. But um, at a certain point, I just kind of like eyeball everything. And very rarely something won't fit the intended doll. It's only happened like twice. So I, I think I'm just lucky to be honest. Um, sometimes I do have to go back and take something in a little, but usually that's just a preference and not a fit issue. I've never, 
or only a couple times made things too small, but then I just give it to a smaller, like a skinnier doll. My broken maiden moth has gotten some clothes that way. Okay, so then pockets. Um, pockets. Basically, I used to cut the pocket shape before sewing, but then you're right on the edge and it's actually harder. So what I do is I just look at how deep I made the pocket, like the cut, and then almost double it and then fold it over so like like four times longer almost like that as you can see like the cut stops here so then it's like okay and then there and then that's where I would fold um, and I'll cut two of those because there's two pairs here and it just it just got to be rough it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect so those are my blue pockets. And then this can be my back pocket. I think I could get two out of there, probably. Oh, well I've got this, this cut too. So I'll just cut this. I haven't decided on the shape of the pocket for the back pocket, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. And then I'm also going to take this scrap and just kind of turn it into, um like straighten up the edges because I'm going to turn this one into belt loops. I'm trying to be more efficient and use the, um, the straps or like the scraps, the scraps for straps. All right. And I'll make belt loops out of that. And then on the pink, same thing. Belt like that for one pocket. Is this a tutorial? I don't know guys. If you can follow along to this, um, feel free to share photos with me um, if this helped you at all to make pants. That's all my pieces. So that's a pair. And then that's a pair. I just have to move them to the side. This is not a pair of anything. And then there's that. I don't know if I can move you to a place where you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, I think that's the move. And then I've got my sewing machine. I've currently got pink thread on there, pink and blue thread. So I'm gonna sew the pink and blue pairs first. Uh, they're more complicated anyway, so it's not a terrible idea to sew them first. Um, and then I can switch out to green and pink once the bottom bobbin runs out, I think. I don't always change out the, um, the color, especially if the color that's in there works. I tend to be like, okay, I've got pastel thread on there while I'm sewing pinks and greens. Um, or like if it's white, I need more white thread though. Okay, so I'll start with a pair of the pink and blues, like I said, and I'm gonna grab the front, the front pieces. So that's the pieces with the pocket cutouts, like this. And first thing I'm gonna do is sew like the crotch area. I'm gonna sew that part together first. I can tell I'm gonna to have to use fray stop on this fabric, but okay, so now that I've got it looking like this, uh, right away, I'm gonna flip it this way and I'm going to top stitch down the front of the seam and then I also stitch about here to a here and then connect it and it makes it look like a fly. So um, just a faux fly because like they don't need to be undoing their pants from the front, so. Okay. Like that. I trim as I go because it drives me nuts having a thousand threads hanging off. All right, so at this point we have this. So now I'm going to do the front pockets. And cut more threads. I've got a garbage can next to me, by the way, just so you know where I'm throwing things. But um, for the pockets, I'm gonna do a blue pocket on the pink side and a pink pocket on the blue side. So I just grab my fabric rectangle from the front. And let me just remember how it yeah, so act like the corners would match up, assuming that the pink 
had, this is the back by the way, the ugly side, wrong side, inside. Um, you're putting it against the front. So um, pretend like the corners are gonna match up and you're just gonna stitch along the edge here. Um, and then we're gonna cut this piece off, the extra piece, and then flip it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna turn it to the pink side so I can see where I'm sewing. this um so many threads okay uh then i'm just going to take this and flip it uh if you want to iron it at this point you can like just to make the pocket flat um i've never had to i can usually just get them to behave somewhat um and you're just gonna top stitch that okay so at this point you're like okay cool beautiful but that's not a pocket so that's what all this is so I'm gonna fold this up again so it meets the edge we do real pockets we don't do the girl fashion pockets here so um, once that's folded up I'm just going to stitch these two pieces where they connect here and then on the inside I'm going to stitch it to itself and that's gonna make your pocket so Okay, snip off my extra. Stab myself in the leg. Okay, so that's how you make like the pocket. You can see? So I'm gonna do that on the other side with the pink. Um, I'll come back and show you once I'm done, obviously. But um, yeah, you're gonna do that on both sides. Okay, so at this point, they're looking like this already coming together. Uh, the next part is the back of the jeans. We're going to put those on now. I know, seems early, but um, again, I'm putting the blue side on, like with the blue side, like so that the front and back of the jeans are blue. So one leg is all blue. But uh, for this pair, I'm gonna do the blue. So this is the butt. Like this is where the butt's gonna go. So you want the two flats like on the right side. You need to use the right side of the fabric. Uh, which is not this side. Actually, is it? This this fabric is like the exact same on the front on the back. Like it's it's like the exact same. Okay, um, but you're gonna put the flats together, like the flat sides. Um, and you're just gonna stitch all the way down, and you're gonna do that on both sides. And uh, yeah, that's just stitch down, connect them. Uh, be careful not to like connect your pocket. Um, well, you want to connect the top of the pocket. Uh, you, I guess you can connect the bottom of the pocket uh, so it doesn't scrunch up so much. That might be actually a good idea because mine scrunch sometimes. I'm going to try that. So actually, I'll, I'll report back. Okay, so at this point, we have this. I'm going to now um, top stitch down the seam. Make sure it doesn't fold in too much or you're going to lose a lot of like leg area. Um, but yeah, you're just going to stitch, top stitch there. Um, and then we're going to, once you're done that, you can, we can, I don't know, fold the cuff in and I double roll. Um, so I do it small, but I double roll and then have like a little cuff like that. And then I'm going to sew that down too. So that's basically what is happening right this minute. So, um, I'm just pulling it like not flat, but like just so it's not, um, I'm not losing fabric. Um, don't pull hard, but you know, just uh, occasionally just kind of making sure. And also make sure that you keep one piece like, so it's kind of like the top piece. I usually use this as the back part of the leg. Um, I don't know if that's how real jeans are, but it's definitely easier the stitch than trying to fold the pocket over. If that makes sense. 
because then this looks like this. Um, and then the cuff. Should I double? I might, I think I'm gonna do two. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do the second top stitch, like really close to the first one. It waved in a little bit, that happens sometimes, but yeah. And I'm gonna do this on the other side. I usually just try and fold up about half of it because once you get it going it's pretty easy to keep folding it um, such a tiny little seam but so yeah I'm about halfway through that um, seam and I'm just folding the rest and then holding it with my fingers on the other side and I'm just gonna let the machine feed it through. So yeah, looks like that. Um, I think people jeans have two at the bottom maybe, but it would be so small. Um, I'm not going to. They might. Maybe they do. No, just one, right? Like, I feel like I'm like, one. was I wearing jeans? I'm wearing cuffed shorts right now, so that's not very helpful. Like this. Okay, so at this point, they're almost pants, and it's time to do back pockets, waistband, all of that. So I'm going to start with the back pockets. I'm gonna put a pink back pocket on the blue side and a blue back pocket on the pink side. So um, you're going to need to leave enough room here to roll this over like your butt seam because that's where your snaps or um, Velcro or whatever you're gonna use to close the pants is gonna go. <laughs> um, we can even go ahead and actually just do that now. I think it's a good idea because then we know where it's gonna go. Um, I usually do wait until after because um, I'll do the waistband at the same time and it gives it like a smooth line, but it's fine either way. So again, this doesn't matter because this is going to be connected, but uh, just making the top part. Smooth. And I did again the double roll because if I'm not top stitching something, I don't want that. Um, it just makes it less likely to fall apart and fray, in my experience. So back pockets, maybe I'll drop you down here for just a sec. So I'm just gonna hold this over this to see how big it is. Um, it is about twice as wide as I need, but that's fine because um, I tend to sheather my pockets and fold them like this. And then I'm going to put a seam down the middle. I'll show you in a sec. Um, you don't have to do this. This is, uh, it gives it that like, you'll see at the end, but like that. And then I'm going to hold it like this, okay? Um, but I'm going to just fold the ends in. Um, again, if you need to use pins or whatever you can, I don't. <laughs> but, uh, 
Not that I don't need to probably, but I just, I just, I just don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip those up. I'm making it so much more complicated trying to like show you at the same time, but okay. And I'm just gonna stitch that. So it looks like this. And then the top, I'm just putting like a decorative stitch across the top. So it looks like that. It's thick. You can do it like single layered too, but this is just the easiest way for me to hide the seams. Um, but I'm basically just gonna put that about here because I need to save a little bit of room up here to do, um, well maybe there, to do the, um, the waistband. But you wanna put it like kind of centered because you want it to be more on the butt than on the leg, you know? So um, I'm just gonna stitch like this side, the V, and then up the side and leave the top open because I like functional pockets. All right, and then we have the back pockets. Looking pretty cute. And uh, this is where I'm gonna pause on the pants and leave. No, uh, and do the waistband and um, the belt loop. Um, I'm first going to measure out how much of the blue I need and how much of the pink by holding it up to the waistband where it's going to be sewn on, adding a little bit to the middle for the seam, and then adding a bit, like maybe this much to the end for, um, to fold it over. And same thing on the other side, it should be pretty much the same, but. Okay. And then I'm gonna stitch them together the correct way. Because I forgot to swap them. So I swapped them. And now I'll stitch them together. All right. There. Um, also, while I've got this, I'm gonna just open it up and then fold it over and then fold it over again and just top stitch this bit here. Um, just so the end, like the ends are smooth and it's not insanely thick. Like that. And, um, now I'm going to, oh, actually I'm going to make the belt loops. Um, do I do opposite color belt loops? Probably. Like put uh, pink belt loops on the, over the blue. Yeah, okay. So I wanna make both kinds of belt loops right now. And that's just the strips and I'm just going to fold them. I'll show you like this, but I fold it the end in can you see? You end in a little bit, and then the same on the other side. Okay, like that. And then uh, once the ends are folded in, I fold it. It's really hard to show you, but. Um... <sighs> like in half again, and it looks like that. That might be a bit thick for the belt loop. No, that's okay. Okay. And then any smaller and it's just gonna shred. This belt loops are the first. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna do the whole strip at once. Um, the very first time I tried making belt loops, I cut each individual one. Never again. So now I do it like this, and then I just cut the pieces as I need them. And then I'm gonna just stitch, like top stitch down the other side as well. And the same with the blue. Let me just see how to explain how I do this. Okay, so you take the waistband with the seam, and I'm going to be sewing this 
like right sides together. Like that. Uh, be especially careful when you get to this pocket part because you need this to lay flat. I might just go ahead and trim that bit so I don't end up missing it. Yeah. Okay, that'll be better now. Um, so as I'm stitching this to this, um, in the appropriate spot, so typically uh, above the butt pocket, nope, there's one in the middle, and there's one like here, and then there's like one like here. Yeah, right on the seam, right in front of the pocket, and then there's one on the butt with women's jeans. So with the blue side, I'm going to be using the pink, and I'm going to tuck it like right side up. It doesn't really matter. It kind of looks the same on both sides. I'm going to tuck it like in between like a sandwich, okay? And then I'm just gonna pull it up in the same thing. And I'm just gonna stitch that in at the same time. It's very thick and you have to go very slow. Um, and after that's sewn, you just snip it and then move it over to the next one. Um, it's, this is easier for me at least, but um, if you wanna cut them all individually first, I'm my guess, but I have issues with it fraying and fighting me when I do that, so I don't do that. I'll show you, I'll do the first one and then uh, show the camera exactly what I'm doing. And make sure it's like not tight, but like not loose either when you do it. Like it should be just wrapped. Because if you go too loose or too tight, um, it's gonna sit weird. So. Okay, and then I always, always, always backstitch. And then snip. And then we do it again. I'll line up the next one ahead. waistband was a bit too long so um, I'll fix that after but and just make sure that your everything's secure again other side but with the pink waistband piece but this is why people who make doll clothes charge so much because it takes so long okay so now it looks like this um, but we need it to not be covered in threads, but also we need it to uh, flip up. So um, this is tricky. I so I prefer when um, the jeans part like comes like because you can set it to like roll over this way. So the, the waistband is kind of on top, but I don't think that looks as good as just letting it do what it naturally wants to do when you stitch it this way. Like this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and top stitch. Um, and I'm also just gonna bring the crotch, like stitching up. So we're here at this point, um, looking pretty good, looking like pants, um, but we need to obviously put the legs together. So for this, uh, this is the easy part, um, but you're just gonna fold this over and line up the crotches together um, and line it up all the way down to the bottom and you're just gonna stitch this. And um, I'm gonna stitch it twice because I don't want it to split open and because we can't top stitch it because it's so tiny. 
Um, the second time I stitch it, I'm going to use a zigzag stitch towards the edge to kind of like catch some of the fraying. And finally, the butt is wide open, so you're just going to grab the pieces of the butt and connect them and up until the point where you've done the uh, fold over and you're just going to I'm going to stitch it twice again to make sure it's strong but um, we'll just stitch them right together okay so um, if I wasn't trying to show you what they look like done um, I would apply the fray stop right now but if I apply it right now um, I'm not gonna be able to turn them back inside out or right side out for a bit like until tomorrow so I'll just show you now and then apply the fray stop after so I use my hemostats um, reach down through the leg your pants should look like this and then like obviously they need a snap for the back uh, um, I'll show you these jeans because that was the end of it. You just attach the buff, like the snaps and stuff. But um, but I put Poppy in these jeans. I I ended up making them too long because in my brain all my dolls have long legs um, and they're way too long on Raven. So I have them on Poppy and they look really cute. She's got her hands in the pockets. Yeah, these are basically the jeans. They turned out pretty cute. I think the waist could be tucked in a bit more. But again, that's because Poppy isn't standard MSD. I went into this like okay. This is the proportion, but then I made them too long and yada yada yada. So uh, this is the one time where it didn't pan out for me to eyeball them, but they still do fit, just not Raven. Cause I'm not used to sewing for such short little legs. This is the back of the jeans. I'm trying not to let her fall, but uh, yeah, they're a little bit big in the waist um, for Poppy specifically. But like the length and everything is really nice. The pockets are really nice. Um, they're still baggy enough that she can sit in them comfortably. Like this fabric has zero stretch, so like a skinny jean would be a bad idea. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think of the pants. Um, I will show the simple version in another video, but um, I need a sewing machine needle. But yeah, if you're already subscribed, thanks so much for subscribing. If you're new here, I hope you like the content and consider subscribing. Um, I'll be back for those green pants soon. Um, as always, I hope you have a fantastic day.